right, so Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind. You cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Mahachev. Islam Mahachev has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. of Brazil to global superstar status. Enter the former UFC lightweight champion and the most decorated finisher in UFC history. One of your favorites, Charles Dubrox Olivet. I mean, John, you saw the smile just come across my face when you start to talk about it. This guy's fun. Very few guys bring out that emotion. Justin Gaethje and Charlie Alwyn. Those are the ones for yeah. me that feel like they bring that emotion out of me. Like, I know this will be fun. To see this guy rise from where he was, not only in his career, but in his life to become the champion of the world, it was amazing to watch. And for the time that he was the champ, what a ride, man. We had fun calling Oliveira fights. Let's see if he can start another run towards the championship. Yeah, big challenge for him here tonight, but I do get emotional thinking about where he came from and where he is right now, right? Nickname, Du Bronx, the ghetto, and he emerged out of it to change his life forever. We'll see how it goes for Charles Oliveira tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Islam Makachev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Charles the Bronx. Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this Ready. one. Good. All right, Islam Makashev, the UFC lightweight champion, putting the belt on the line tonight against the former King Charles Dubronx Oliveira. They met for the first time at UFC 280. That was back in 2022. And Dubronx looking for a different result here tonight. You know, John, that was the first time we saw Charles Oliveira over the course of that long run. Struggle with the fight style. But Charles Oliveira has promised us he's going back to the drawing board. He's fixed the holes in the game. He has a different approach to Makachev. Let's see how he handles this test for the second time. Makachev is confident, though, that he gets the job. Oh, nice straight left there. Those are big strikes. A beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt. And the cardio, the cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. to get some. Oliveira getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. 
Well, Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bottle. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of position. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Issue. Oliveira gets back up here. Under a minute now to go in round one. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. So Charles Dubronx Oliveira as well-rounded a force as we have in the game and mixing it up pretty well here tonight. He's mixing it up well, but there's a reason why Charles Oliveira is the most successful submission artist in UFC history. Because when you get on the ground, you are constantly under attack. Charles Oliveira on the ground is like nothing we've seen before. He has a confidence about him that when you're down there, he's going to submit you. And he has done that more times than not. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking, just... You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Early right hand gets through for Dubronx. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Islam Akasha. Both fighters throw it I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. Gets back to his feet. Oh, nice level tap. Nice transition. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliveira. Oh, right into Mount. Makashev's going for a choke. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he gets a minute. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're fighting this guy you're in a lot of trouble you're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission here once more bruce buff ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes 15 seconds of round number two declaring the winner by tap out charles the Bronx. All right, Buff, thank you very much. And there it is yet again, Charles Oliveira adding to his submission total here with the win tonight.
du Bronx Charles Oliveira, the moment the fight hits the floor, you are constantly under attack. Once again, as he has done on so many occasions, Charles Oliveira submits his opponent and gets another submission victory. Congrats, du Bronx and your team.